Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. So the question is this, man. Who or what has prepared Canelo Alvarez for a fighter like Gennady Golovkin? Let's get into this, man. You know, if you go back to when Canelo Alvarez first faced Floyd Mayweather, there were clear and obvious signs at that time. If I recall... When you go back to that time, there was a lot of people saying that, yo, Canelo Alvarez had stamina problems. He was breathing hard as hell when he got into the later rounds of any fight. And it was clear as evident then. And nothing had prepared him for the style of fight that Floyd Mayweather fought him as. And it was very defensive. He made Canelo Alvarez work extremely hard. And Canelo Alvarez lost that fight. His punch output came down tremendously as that fight progressed. Well, the signs and the writing was on the wall at the time. But they thought, since Canelo is the bigger guy, that he'll have the power advantages over Oda Mayweather, and he can just might knock him out. Forget about the fact that a fight before that, in which Canelo Alvarez had fought Austin Trout, a lot of fight fans may say that, hey, shit, Canelo probably lost that fight. I think he won it, but some may say Trout won it. It was a it was a close fight, ladies and gentlemen. Trout, to this day, believes he won. And there was nothing that had prepared Canelo Alvarez to the type of fighter that Floyd Mayweather was. Well, then you go a little further. And you say to yourself, OK, Floyd Mayweather, I mean, I'm sorry, Canelo Alvarez then goes and fight another elite fight in Arislandy Laura. And Arislandy Laura, we seen a Canelo that followed the dude around the ring for 12 rounds. You know what I mean? Worked hard, dug deep, cutting off the ring, had to work extremely hard, and he gained the victory. Close fight, but he gained the victory. Evidently, the stamina levels, I mean, the stamina problems didn't show up much in the Arislandy Laura fight because Canelo had to work his ass off to gain that victory. He has yet to step in front of another opponent that fights in that style or in that defensive way in quite some time. He's not too thrilled to be fighting against those kind of fighters but he was able to beat Arislandy Laura mainly from everything he learned from losing to Floyd Mayweather you fast forward up a little bit more and his next elite level fight what we want to say Miguel Cotto right a lot of the stuff that he learned and in in, in, in he took and he did and he applied to Arislandy Laura he had a more mobile you know, moving Miguel Cotto and he used a lot of those same things, those cutting off the ring abilities, the throwing in combinations, the going downstairs. A lot of the things that he used in the Laura fight helped him win in the Miguel Cotto fight, right? Now, in the rest of his other fights, these was not elite level fights, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to count Amir Khan. He ain't preparing for nothing. Cash fight. I'm not going to count the Liam Smiths or the Alfredo and Gulos or the James Kirklands without Ann Wolf, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not counting those. Those fights didn't prepare him, in my opinion, for a guy like Gennady Golovkin. Then you look at his last fight in which he fought a weight-drained Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. He brought that dude down to 164 but a half pounds. Weight-drained him. Yeah, he was the bigger fighter. It may seem to the casuals what well, Canelo has been fighting at the bigger weights, man, 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 man. So what are you talking about? He fought a lesser skilled, weight drained fighter that he could not stop. Let's just be real here. So are we going to say that fight prepared him for Gennady Golovkin? Ask yourself this. What would Gennady Golovkin have done to Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.? A man in Gennady Golovkin who has fought bigger men more consistently than Canelo, a better caliber of a bigger man than Canelo and Daniel Jacobs and David Lemieux, guys like that. I'd love to even see what Canelo would do against a Willie Monroe, truth be told. I'm being honest. 
Who has Canelo fought to prepare him? Who has he fought? And you may ask me, man, 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 well, what are you talking about when, when you say prepared him for a fighter like Gennady Golovkin? I'm talking about a fighter that has game-changing power, not just good power, but game-changing power, one-punch power. A fighter with heavy whiskers that's going to take a licking and keep on fucking ticking. Like Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. did. However, just more skilled and with power. A fighter that can trade basically with Canelo Alvarez. And has not shown nearly as much stamina issues as Canelo has. Canelo has this thing in his head again. Oh, if I'm the bigger guy, I'm the bigger fighter. Then that makes me the bigger threat. That's not necessarily the case, ladies and gentlemen. I see Canelo looking jacked. I see Gennady Golovkin looking a bit more bigger. But Gennady Golovkin, in my opinion, has fought fighters that has prepared him for the likes of a Canelo. Him beating Daniel Jacobs in his last fight, ladies and gentlemen, that speaks volumes to me. I would love to see what Canelo Alvarez would do with a Daniel Jacobs. Daniel Jacobs is out on social media saying that he came in because he did not weigh in on the day of the fight, which is usually required by the IBF. And the IBF title was supposedly involved in that fight. So he did not disclose his same day weigh in, basically. And according to Daniel Jacobs via social media, he came into the fight that night at 175 pounds, basically a light heavyweight. And I don't recall what Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.'s day of weight was, but there was no rehydration clause in that particular thing. And this also goes for Canelo. There was no rehydration clause, so he could have rehydrated to whatever he want. Canelo looked pretty big that night, but yet he could not stop Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. What would Gennady Golovkin have done? This is a man who stopped David Lemieux, a man who beat Daniel Jacobs and had Daniel Jacobs backtracking. A man who clearly prepared himself to take damage that night by coming in with the bigger frame in Daniel Jacobs. And he did take a lot of punches. But he backtracked so much, Gennady wasn't able to finish him. And Gennady Golovkin beat him. A lot of fighters that Gennady Golovkin has fought at 160 has prepared him for what he's going to see from Canelo Alvarez. But I have yet to see who Canelo Alvarez has been in there with that prepares him for Gennady Golovkin. I don't see who. Alfredo Angulo was a robot, man. Freaking James Kirkland didn't have his star training in Ann Wolf. On top of that, some may say his punch resistance was all out of whack that night. Liam Smith, don't make me laugh. Kel Brook, I mean, not Kel Brook, Amir Khan, well to wait. No threat whatsoever. And then you wait drain Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. The Cotto fight, Cotto fought in a manner that Gennady Golovkin would not fight in. So it may look impressive to us that Canelo Alvarez is looking jacked and he's big and all that good shit. But the question remains, the same way he got in there with Mayweather many years ago and was unprepared for what he saw in the ring. What has prepared Canelo to see what he is about to see in Gennady Golovkin? Now, maybe you, some of you out there have an answer. If you do, I ask you to put it in my comment section. But I'm sorry, man. It's just I'm not. Let this not be an indication of a prediction in any sort of way. I'm just asking a question here. And I'm asking, what the fuck has prepared Canelo for this moment? Is it his size that y'all going over? Oh, he's looked so big, main man, main man. He's so skilled, main man, main man. Has not Gennady Golovkin been in there with skilled fighters? Have not Gennady Golovkin been in there with bigger fighters? But who has Canelo been in the ring with that can replicate what Gennady Golovkin done? Riddle me that, ladies and gentlemen. And if you cannot come up with an answer, well, to me, that speaks volumes. So to the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, Made Man 511, Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum, Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. I mean, I'm just asking here, you know, this is the elite level, man. And these are this is a legacy defining, career defining fight for both men. So at this point, you will hope that. 
either guy, if you're re- rooting for either dude, that they had some sort of experience to prepare them for what they are about to see in each other when they face each other. And at this particular moment, I feel as though Gennady Golovkin is the more prepared, more ex- prepared fighter. But some may say, well, main man, main man, Gennady Golovkin this year and recently has taken the much more damage, which is the absolute truth. And this is the absolute reason I believe that Oscar and and Canelo Alvarez wants him in the ring so fast. This is why they pulled him out of the Billy Joe Saunders fight. They don't want anyone else to get that glory but them. And in Daniel Jacobs and in Kell Brook, Gennady Golovkin looked vulnerable at times. And they believe he's aging. And now is the perfect time. The damage that Gennady Golovkin has taken this year in his last few fights could be a major, 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 major factor, ladies and gentlemen. But we just don't know that yet. So we'll see. So to the next video, don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.